in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, your Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the last in life. O oh God, eternal shepherd of the faithful, who tend your church in countless ways and rule over her in love, grant, I pray, your servant whom you have set over your people. I may preside in the place of Christ over the flock whose shepherd ye are and be faithful as a teacher of doctrine, a priest of sacred worship, and as one who serves your people by governing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 3, 
verses 1 to 17. My son, forget not my teaching. Keep in mind my commands. For many days and years of life and peace will they bring you. Let not kindness and fidelity leave you. Bind them around your neck. Then will you win favor and good esteem before God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. On your own intelligence rely not. In all your ways, be mindful of him, and he will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. This will mean help for your flesh and vigor for your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of your produce. Then will your barns be filled with the grain, with the new wine, your vats will overflow. The discipline of the Lord, my son, disdain not, stand not his reproof. For whom the Lord loves, he reproves, and he chastises the son he favors. Happy the man who finds wisdom, the man who gains understanding. For her profit is better than profit in silver, and better than gold is her revenue. She is more precious than corals, and none of your choice possessions can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. The word of the Lord.
second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul, the Romans. Romans chapter 12, verses 1 to 2, 4 to 13. I urge you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. For as in one body we have many parts, and all the parts do not have the same function, so we, though many, are one body in Christ and individually parts of one another. Since we have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us exercise them. If prophecy in proportion to faith, if ministry in ministering, if one is a teacher in teaching, if one exhorts in exhortation, if one contributes in generosity, if one is over others with diligence, if one does acts of mercy with cheerfulness, let love be sincere. Hate what is evil, hold on to what is good, love one another with mutual affection, and speak to one another in showing honor. Do not grow slack in zeal, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, endure in affliction, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the ends of the holy ones, exercise hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Have the same regard for one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not be wise in your own estimation. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be concerned for what is noble in the sight of God. This is the word of the Lord.
Jesus appears to his disciples. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Ghost according to John. We are reading from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 13, verse 1 to 5, 4 of 17. Before the feast of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during the supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God, and was returning to God, he rose from the supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and was, and tied it around his waist. Then he poured the water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back and reclined at the table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and write you so. For indeed I am, if I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also. Amen, amen, I say to you. No slave is greater than his master. No any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do the one who sent him. If you understand, blessed are you if you do it. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at the table again, he said to them, Do you realize 
for us, his brothers and sisters. And as I reflected on this text, what I found most touching is the fact that Jesus knew everybody. He knew what was going to happen to him. He knew that one of the apostles was going to betray him. And yet, he knelt down and washed his feet as well. Showing that salvation, the salvation that Jesus granted us was not for the selected few, was not selected. Do you understand what I have done to you? It is an expression of servant leadership, something that we are learning for so much in our country. To serve, to serve with the, without any, any interest of what we are gaining from our services. Selfless service. This is what the Lord is challenging us today with. Do you understand? Do we understand? The Lord has a lot of hope in us as his disciples. He has not given us, he has not given up on us. He has hope. Because remember in Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 and following, talking to his disciples, talking to us, he said, ladies and gentlemen, you are the light. Be the light of the world. There is so much darkness around us. He has not given up on us. He's asking us this question. Have you seen what I have done? I have knelt, knelt down and performed, performed this symbolic action of washing your feet. And yet I've remained master and lord. I've remained the son of God. I've revealed to you the heart of my father in heaven. That mercy, that selfless service is what we are here to reflect on. You understand what I have done to you. This was an affirmation of what Jesus preached earlier on. He said, anyone, anyone who wants to be great among you, anyone who wants to be great among you must be your servant. And anyone who wants to be the first among you must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. He concludes his teaching of this wonderful example and says, I have given you an example to follow. I have given you an example to follow. And this example we can follow in our day-to-day -day life, in our families, serving one another selflessly. And it is, we have been, we have been seeing people do this. Our mothers, our fathers, our parents have brought us up, a good number of them brought us up following this example of carrying us, washing us, cleaning us without 
without expecting any return. And Jesus is telling us today that we should continue. He has, he has called us and sent us to various vocations. Some of you are married people, others are clergy, religious, others are government office officials, others are doing this and that, catechists. But the, the bottom line is service, service with love. Serve the Lord with gladness. I chose this verse for text to help us remember what we are supposed to do as church, as God, God's family members. This is our mission. Service, service, general service, unconditional service in whatever way, walk of life that the Lord has given us. Do you understand what I have done to you? None of us should set ourselves, none of us should just think of himself or herself. Jesus has given us an example of serving, serving selflessly. My brothers and sisters, let me now welcome you all to this celebration. I welcome you with great joy to mark our lives and death here at Igumba in Masin, the Vicariate. You are very, very welcome. In a, a distinguished way, I welcome the Vicar General of Oima Diocese, the Chancellor Oima, the Pastor Coordinator, the Episcopal Vicar Masindi, and other Episcopal Vicars that are here. Head of departments in our diocese, in particular the Director of Communication and Director of Radio Maria, the parish priests and staff, Chibumba, all clergy, all priests around, religious men and women, representatives of other faiths, honorable MOPs that are here. LOC five chairpersons, mayors, the task force team for our children and women's hospital project that are here, chief administrative officers here present, and all government employees, our diocesan leaders at all levels, parish chairpersons and Christians of this candidate and all our guests. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. February 28th is also my Episcopal coordination and installation anniversary as Bishop of Poima. So as I stand here, I'm also enjoying being a Mugore. <laughs> so, most welcome, and uh, we are grateful to God for feeding us with his word, and for encouraging us, and for reminding us of our mission of being people, of being shepherds, of being people who wash each other's feet, a symbol of selfless service. Please pray for me that I may learn to do God's will. Our celebration of the Day 
is on rotational basis. Last year we were in Kagadi Vicariate, the youngest Vicariate. And this year we are here in Masindi Vicariate. We thank you for hosting us and we thank you. We have found you with a strong faith. We are grateful because this is the church. We are greatly encouraged. I arrived here yesterday, and uh, it was not a coincidence, but I think God prepared it that way, prepared it that way, and we started with uh, the Jerusalem, great Jerusalem event of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We gave, we celebrated the sacrament of confirmation and we prayed for everybody in the diocese, in this vicariate, that we may all be filled with the Holy Spirit. So we thank you, we thank you, Masiri, vicariate, for hosting us this year. And uh, we are, uh, I think we are uh, a family of 12 parishes in this uh, vicariate. Yeah, 30? 30. Okay, you remind me the one I have missed. <laughs> they, are, they are advising me here. That is why it is important to be with the staff. <laughs> Now, we have Namugisa, Namugisa Parish, that is one, Chikumba Parish, where we are, we have Chiyandongo, we have Katulikie, those are four, we have Pakan, five, we have St. Jude Masindi, six, we have Tibuana, seven, we have Muro Parish, eight. We have Karango, nine. Nyantonzi, Biso, Bulisa, and Chachiri. <laughs> The family is bigger than I had, I had thought. So I thank the leadership. I thank the leadership of this vicariate for hosting us and for hosting for the faith that we see in your people. And in a very special way, we express our gratitude to Gumba for being the home of these celebrations today. Thank you very much. Poema Diocese started in 1965, nearly 58 years ago, with the Right Reverend Cyprian Chani as the first bishop. Then, Right Reverend Albert Edward Baharagati as the second bishop. He has been critically sick and uh, has spent nearly two weeks in hospital being treated. Yesterday I got good news that he had been discharged from the Sandia Hospital. Thank you for your prayers. And uh, he's recovering gradually. So we let us pray for the steady, steady recovery. So he was the second bishop of this, of Boima Diocese. Then the third bishop was Right Reverend Debrasius Gavazayu. And then we had Right Reverend Lambert Bainon Disha as the Apostolic Administrator for some years. Those are my predecessors who laid a firm and strong foundation for what we are celebrating today. I expected some of that. Don't 
whatever you forget, I will remind you. <laughs> we are very grateful to them for their exemplary servant leadership and love for Christ. Another clap. <laughs> Secondly, I thank the clergy, religious men and women, catechists, lay leaders, parents, and everyone, both living now and those who are with the Father, for the sacrifice and unconditional love for the church that has made the diocese what it is today. So thank, thank you, all of you. Thank you, thank you. As I prepared for this day, I got across this phrase, Latin phrase, Ubi Episcopus, Ibi Ecclesia. Ubi Episcopus, Ibi Ecclesia. May I, may I ask for some, some help here? Yeah. Where the bishop is, the church is. Where the bishop is, the church is. Where the bishop is, there the church is. So here we are, the full church. The bishop is here, the priests are here, the religious are there, the lay Christians are there. The, the, the whole thing now is complete. This is the church. We are the representatives of the church. We are the church. But the bishop alone does not make the church. The bishop alone does not make the church. Neither does the priest alone make the parish. Nor do the Christians alone make the church. The Holy Father, Pope Francis, officially opened the Synod on Synodality on 10th October 2021. So he wants us to remember that the bishop, the bishop alone does not make the church. Neither the priest alone make a parish. No, do the Christians alone make the church. But all of us together, working together, we are the church. With our head, with Christ as our head. We are the church, led by the Holy Spirit. So as church, Pope Francis wants us to remember to journey together, to work together. The church is not for the, is not the bishop, is not the priest, is not just the Christians, but all of us as different people to work together and, and learn how to respond to God's, God's call, to God's voice. Number two, I just want to say, to invite all of us, be a big, a vibrant church. Be a vibrant church. Be an active church. Yesterday, before I confirmed the candidates, I asked them, who instructed you in the faith? And they all answered in unison. The catechist! So when the clapping is not enough, I complain. <laughs> who confirmed you? I mean, who taught you the faith? The catechist! I said, I 
all Christians, all of us, should think of supporting the work of evangelization by contributing generously. Vocation is Sunday. Holy Childhood Sunday and other, other important feasts that require our participation in supporting the church. Support the Jerusalem projects. Jerusalem projects. Now we have a project that I want to talk about also today. A project that we started two years ago. The project of the a specialized hospital for children and women. That is the project that we are looking at as a diocese, as a way of serving God's people more, giving services to our people. A specialized hospital for children and women. It is one of the reasons that we are here. As we say, Thank you, Lord, for giving us the diocese. Let us also join hands by saying that, by participating in supporting this, this important project. I know there will be an occasion to, to, to talk about it more and to, to respond to this call. There are places, possibly, places in the process of becoming parishes. A massive vicariate who have not been as fast as other vicariates. There are places like uh, Karuma. Karuma should have been. Karuma should have been. Are there people from Karuma here? <laughs> What is the good part of Karuma? <laughs> <laughs> the parish priest of Katulikie. Uh, so we are uh, Karuma is in our thoughts. Karuma is in our thoughts. Karuma, Karuma. But we don't know what is going on there. I've been there four times, and I was getting the same answer. Bishop, wait, you will see what we shall do. <laughs> I'm becoming impatient. I'm getting the same answer. Karuma, there is also Titimura. There is a good father here of Titimura. What is it? <laughs> same same response. I've been there five times. Same answer. Bishop, you give us time. I'm becoming impatient. But we'd like that these uh, also massive carriers develops. Mutunda, who is the godfather of Mutunda? Is a sound. <laughs> so we want something to happen. Something to happen so that the people, people can receive, can, can receive services, can be evangelized from, from, from their areas. I would like to, to thank you for coming. And uh, also remind you that this year we are celebrating 50 years since the beginning of small Christian communities. 50 years. And we are informed that this celebration will be, the 50 years will be in December this year. So we'd like We'd like that we add more effort in realizing, strengthening ourselves, because this is the strength of the church. Small Christian communities. People, where people get together, pray together, share their life, 
their joys, their sorrows, support one another, and live like the, the first disciples in the Acts of the Apostles. So, 50 years, what, what are we doing? Let us begin praying for this, for this important occasion that all of us may be participants in, the, in this celebration and be more of Christ's light, uh, light to the world. God bless you all.
my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation, O oh Lord, which you have presented, become an offering acceptable to you and for the good of the flock, that I, whom you have raised up among your people to be high priest, be endowed by your gift with apostolic virtues, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up, Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son. High Priest of the New and Eternal Covenant, and by your wondrous design, we are pleased to decree that his one priesthood should continue in the church. For Christ not only adorns with the royal priesthood the people he has made his own, but with the brother's kindness, he also chooses men to become sharers in his sacred ministry through the leg of hands. They are to renew in his name the sacrifice of human redemption, to set before your children the Paschal banquet, to lead your holy people in charity, to nourish them with his word, and strengthen them with the sacraments. As they give up their, their lives for you and for the salvation of their brothers and sisters, they strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself and offer you a constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we are claimed. <laughs>
You are a need for me, O oh Lord, and all your creation rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun will set in, a pure sacrifice may be offered your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously and equally, these gifts who have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. resurrection and ascension into heaven, and I look forward to his second coming. We offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, 
with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our consolation, we pray the Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be the place to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis our Pope and Vincent our Bishop, Lord of Bishops and all the clergy, and the entire people you have been for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh, Master Father, gather to yourself all children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you while they are passing from this life, give kind of to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. O Christ our Lord, who alone you bless on the world, all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever.
knowledge, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We are going to make seven lines for those who receive Holy Communion and who are ready. Thank you.
You can't spray. By the power of this sacrament, O oh Lord, increase the gifts of your grace in me, your servant, and that I may serve you bodily in the first ministry and receive the eternal rewards of a faithful steward. Through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Dear people of God, allow me to congratulate our beloved Bishop. We congratulate you, my Lord Bishop, upon the seventh Episcopal anniversary. <laughs> Let us add more power. We were instructed yesterday by the bishop, the power. Thank you very much. I would like to welcome Vicar General of Hoima Catholic Diocese. Thank you very much for coming. The Chancellor of Hoima Catholic Diocese. Thank you very much for coming. Pastoral Coordinator, Hoima Catholic Parish. Uh, Hoima Catholic Diocese. The Diocese. It's Scopo Vicar of Masindi. Vicario. I wish also to welcome all the priests and deacons present. Thank you very much for coming. Religious present. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for coming. Catechists. Thank you very much for coming. May God bless you. <laughs> Political leaders, social workers, thank you very much for coming to honor this occasion. Our beloved choir, thank you. Thank you very much. And that is Kigumba Catholic Parish Choir. If you want to talk with them, I'm the contact person. Thank you very much. I've been reminded we have also religious brothers. Yes. Thank you very much for coming. All Christians and all of you people of God, you are most welcome to this celebration. In a special way, I would like to thank uh, Radio Maria, Hoima, and Fortuoto. Thank you very much. You have put us on air. So that means we are international. As Masini in Italian. 
Thank you very much, the director and your staff. May God bless you all. We are very grateful to God to reach this far as ordinary, ordinary Ohoima Catholic diocese. Thank you very much. We thank the Lord for giving you the power up to this far, my Lord Bishop. My Lord Bishop, allow me uh, to go through the program we are going to follow today. After Mass, we are going to change investments. Then after that, we shall come back within five minutes. Then for us here, we are going to reorganize ourselves as we prepare for the noble cause of the fundraising of our hospital. Then when we come back, we shall have uh, highlights about our specialized hospital by health coordinator, assistant health coordinator, Father Davis. He will give us highlights. We understand it better because most of us, we are asking some questions. Uh, now, when we construct uh, that hospital in Hema, what about ours? What about where? What about where? Is going to tell us exactly. Then after that, we shall have fundraising. Fundraising with people. According to our parishes in Masingi Vicariate. Then, after the fundraising, we shall have entertainment to repeat short, very short, from uh, one of the schools of this parish. Then after that short entertainment, we shall have gifts from different parishes to our Mugole for our great team. So if you have also a video gift, it is also welcome. Then after that, we shall have uh, the speech from the target chairperson, chairperson of the late of Masini Vicariate. Then after that, we shall have Episcopal Vicar of Masini Vicariate. After that, we shall have, uh, I know we have many politicians around, but one will only uh, represent others, only one politician. Then after, we shall have the speech from our Mugole, our bishop. Lastly, we shall have anniversary cake, cutting off anniversary cake, then lunch. So, thank you very much. I request uh, the bishop to bless us. Thank you.
mugende no msinge
Você indo pra Fulô, você não tá legal, tá? Pode ser beijar aí. Those that are following us here live, we are in Kikumba Catholic Parish. We are bringing you proceedings of the seventh anniversary of the Episcopal Nation of Right Reverend Vincent Kirava Moti live on YouTube of Radio Maria Uganda Hoima. The Right Reverend Vincent Kirabo Amoti was appointed Bishop of Hoima Catholic Diocese on the 30th of November 2015 by Pope Francis, who had completed his visit to Uganda and he left us a gift of Bishop Vincent Kirabo Amoti. He was ordained to the Episcopate on the 28th of February. 2016 by his grace Paul Kamuza Bachenga, the Archbishop Emeritus of Mbarara Archdiocese as principal concentrator and the Bishop Baharagate the Emeritus of Hoima Catholic Diocese and Archbishop Lambert Vainomkisha, the current Archbishop of Mbarara Ecclesiastical Province and the former Apostolic Administrator of Hoima Catholic Diocese as concentrators. During the same liturgical celebration then, Bishop Vincent Kirawa Mott was installed as the fourth bishop of Hoima Catholic Diocese and he falls in the footsteps of his predecessors. Bishop Cyprian Biehima Kihangire Akiki, Bishop Albert Edward Baharagate Akiki, and Bishop Del Gracias Mgano Biawazaire Abwoli, now the deceased. Last year, the celebration was held in Kagadi. This year, the celebration is held in Masendi Vicariat and it is the leading vicariate because the, the celebration is a decision event and it is rotational. So this year we are in Masendi Vicariat, spearheaded by the Masendi Vicariat, but here the precise venue being Kigumba Parish. Last year the celebrations were held in St. Mary's Catholic Parish, Kagadi, and by that then, St. Mary's women choir. and the children's specialized and the hospital person, project you know the center well. stage. A total of 36 million Uganda shillings Thank was you, collected from the parishes of Kagadi. Now, and we are 9 million to was given phase. to the bishop as his gift, but he bequeathed it to the hospital I wish you for the construction the, of the specialized hospital. Those posts uh, on your attendance. As if you are from Nyantonzi Parish, you up if you are from Kabango Parish, live from our different please channels. use it. Social communications department. kindly sift and go. We appreciate your support and love. In your and tent, the purpose of all our where you are supposed to be. One, the sea of oh, the with Kigumba with the Parish, of St. Peter you know. the Apostle. Radio where are you? Uganda, Hoima, listen to Who? it, support it and love the apostolate that we do. We are on 90.7 FM in Hoima and 104.6 Fort Porto. We are a Christian voice in your home. Stay tuned, I remain Reverend Father Patrick Museveni, uh, the son of Erivankia and the Executive Director, Hoima Social Communications Department and Radio Maria. Thank you very much and I wish you God's blessings. Thank you. Yeah.